Have you ever called a mortgage company to get pre-approved for a home loan and the loan officer tells you how much you can afford in a house payment and you think, how do you know how much I can afford in a house payment? Hi, my name is Jill Dobb. I'm a licensed loan officer at Michigan Mortgage and I'm here to show you how loan originators calculate that payment. DTI, debt to income and debt to income ratios, what is that? Well, each ratio is gonna look a little different depending on your personal characteristics, what your credit score looks like, are you a veteran, are you a first time home buyer, um, different scenarios made up by agency guidelines. So in this particular scenario, I'm gonna use 45%. So, and I'm also gonna break down monthly income and monthly debt. So in this scenario, I have a client that makes $60,000 a year. This is a W-2 employee. This is not um, self-employment. I'm not looking at bonuses. I'm not looking at overtime. I'm strictly looking at a $60,000 a year salary W-2 income. So if you take $60,000 and divide that by 12, I get $5,000 a month. So my monthly income Is five thousand dollars now let's look at monthly debt what does monthly debt look like so monthly debt does not consist of utilities it's going to consist of child support alimony boat payments if you already have a mortgage um, car payments student loans credit cards things like that not your utility bills so in this particular instance their monthly debt they have a, a $350 auto loan, and then they have credit cards. Now, when I look at credit card monthly debt, I am not looking at what you pay a month on that credit card. I'm strictly looking at your total or your minimum monthly payment due. So in this scenario, it was 50 bucks a month for that credit card payment. So that is $400 a month in debt. So remember, I'm using a 45% debt to income ratio to see how much this person can afford in a house payment. So I take $5,000 with that 45% debt to income ratio minus the $400 a month debt, and I'm gonna get $1,850 a month. That is how much this person can afford in a house payment. Now, each pre-approval is different. It's not one size fits all. So give me a call and I can walk you through what your pre-approval looks like. Maybe $1,800, $1,850 a month is stretching it for you. Maybe you only wanna be at a $1,500 payment. Maybe you say, Jill, my rent right now is $2,000 a month. We can look at that. Maybe you get overtime. Maybe you've been on your job for longer. Maybe we can look at you refinancing your auto payment so that payment is lower so you can afford more in a house. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to help and I wanna be your lender for life.